I, Ann Wiggins Brown, was the daughter of Dr. Harry F. Brown, a physician, and my mother was Mary Allen Wiggins. My father was the grandson of a slave, and my mother's parents were of Black, Cherokee, Indian, and Scottish iron origin. I had three sisters, Henrietta, Mamie, and Harriet. As a young child, I showed great musical talent, and according to family legend, I could sing a perfect scale at just nine months old. As an African American, I was not allowed to attend a Roman Catholic elementary school in my native Baltimore. I trained at Morgan College and then applied to Peabody Institute, but, but was rejected from the school due to my race. I then applied to the Juilliard School in New York at the encouragement of the wife of the owner of the Baltimore Sun. I was admitted to Juilliard when I was just 16 years old, becoming the first African-American voteless to attend there. I studied singing with Lucia Dunham and was awarded Juilliard's Margaret Gill Scholarship when I was just 20 years old. And at the age of 19, I married a fellow Juilliard student. In my, as an African American, and as a second year at Juilliard, I learned that George Gershwin was going to compose an opera about African Americans in South Carolina. I decided to write him a letter, which led to Gershwin's secretary calling me to come and sing for him. After singing several classical auras and spiritual, A City Called Heaven for Gershwin, I was frequently invited by him to come and sing parts of the opera as he was composing the work's music. As a result, the role of Beth grew from a secondary character. I took part of opera history when I sang Bess for the world premiere of Porgy and Bess. I toured Europe as a concert artist from 1942 to 1948. I left the United States because of continued racial prejudice. I was born August 9th, 1912, and I died March 12th, 2009, at the age of 96 in Oslo, Norway.